special, but uh, we are going to be signing numerous countries in the not-too-distant future, so that'll be great. While you are on the phone, could I ask you, how is the dam doing in Ethiopia, the largest dam in many, many years being built? Unfortunately, it stops water from flowing into the, the Nile, which causes Egypt a little bit of a problem, right, as it should. Uh, but Ethiopia built a dam. You know all about it, probably, Bibi, but I've been dealing with Sudan on that. Uh, and I'm just curious, how is that going? Because you're really the third party involved with Ethiopia and Egypt and the dam. Are they working out their deal? Because I had a deal done for them. And then, unfortunately, Ethiopia broke the deal, which they should not have done. That was a big mistake. And we've stopped payment to them of about — of a lot of aid. Uh, because they did it. And they will never see that money unless they adhere to the agreement. But they built a dam which stops water from flowing into the Nile. And you can't blame Egypt for being a little bit upset, right? How are they doing with that? Do you know? Well, I think they need a lot of help to resolve it. Yeah, no, no you know, I, was, I was actually talking to Sudan, baby, Ta talking to the chairman, talking to the prime minister. Um, how are you doing? We may not want to answer that. We do very much appreciate the effort that started with the Washington process, which in very few months brought us together. And I think we are progressing very well on this. We hope to reach a win-win situation that will bring a lot of benefits, complementarity from the three nations. And um, we are moving in that direction. We hope to reach an amicable solution Soon yeah, if you would, because I had a deal done, and then they broke the deal, and they can't do that. They can't do that. So the deal was done, and it's a very dangerous situation because Egypt is not going to be able to live that way, and they'll end up blowing up the dam. And I said it, and I say it loud and clear, they'll blow up that dam, and they have to do something. So whatever you can do to get them, Ethiopia, to do that, they're going to have to, okay? And we've cut off all payment, and everything else to Ethiopia. It was terrible. We were all set to sign a deal. It was negotiated for five years, and uh, longer than that. And uh, they couldn't make the deal, and I got the deal done. And then they're getting ready to sign the deal, and they broke the deal, which is not good. So whatever you could do, Prime Minister, if you could, uh, that would be great, okay? You tell them they got to get it done. And I'm telling Egypt the same thing, by the way. You know, because they could have stopped it. They should have stopped it long before it was started. I said, how do you let it get built? And then you say they, they have a dam, you know. But they had other things on their mind. That was at a time when they were having a minor revolution, to put it mildly. That was a, uh, a bad time for Egypt, so I guess they had other things on their mind. So you'll work on that, Sudan, and thank you very much. Do you have any questions for Sudan or for uh, Benjamin? Yes, please.